It does give them a renewed sense of hope for the fact that they are physically better and that does play on their emotional state as well, that they feel better about themselves and their ability to accomplish something. Primary patients that I see um, have had strokes or multiple sclerosis, um, balance disorders, falling, dizziness, um, or chronic progressive diseases, um, ALS, Parkinson's, Huntington's disease. So any type of movement disorders that are neurologically um, involved. The role in physical therapy is really to work on um, regaining strength of the affected limbs or um, sense of balance again, working on balance training, gait training, um, just learning how to retrain the brain to use those muscles correctly or to compensate to allow that function to continue. I think a lot of times I'll see a person for the first time who's never been in therapy and they're a little bit scared because they're really not sure what to expect. Um, and it, it's nice to see them kind of open up to me as we communicate together and put their mind at ease as to what they can gain from therapy or what the expectations of the treatment might be. Especially with a neurological disease, it's a little intimidating to come into a, um, a gym with equipment that you know you can't use, but you'd be surprised how much an open floor space and parallel bars can can do for you. Um, you'd be surprised how much just free hand weights and just your body can do for you. So and I think quickly um, you forget where you are and you just start focusing on the task and it's not as intimidating. Uh, we keep you busy enough that you don't have time to look around <laughs> and see what everyone else is doing. A lot of times it is working on core strength so they're gaining better trunk control um, again postural strengthening or just strengthening of one of the extremities um, balance training, like I said, using different pieces of equipment. Um, we use this to assess a uh, patient's balance to see what impairments they might have or things that we could work on to help them feel more stable. Um, we also use it as a tool for doing balance training activities so we can then improve their stability or their body control. So we can work on different activities. Um, a lot of times we're using weight shifting activities, but we can even help a person with um, learning to go from sitting to standing and where that weight shift needs to be. And they're working with a visual cue. And then I would be shifting my weight to gain the ability to go from left side to right side or have that control. And we work a lot um, with other services, occupational therapy, speech therapy. It's um, very multidisciplinary. We've had patients comment that they like the approach where we work with everyone. We're in constant contact with the doctors, the physicians, the nurses, but also community resources, orthotists, equipment vendors, um, the gamut, modifications to the house. We're kind of the go-to for that per for those jobs. A lot of it goes uh, to quality of life, also family training. Just trying to decrease caregiver burden, especially when we're talking about a progressive disease and the care has increased so much and the time is required so much for that patient. We do get to know the families very well because a lot of times they are also learning the exercises to help the patient with or working with them and helping the person to move, to do a transfer from one place to another um, and carrying out the exercises that we need them to perform to get better, um, teaching families how to help them to um, protect them own, their own selves also with good body mechanics and everybody is an in integral part in their recovery. Follow up is critical as far as maintaining strength and maintaining functional independence, maintaining the ability to get up and down the stairs into your house or get in and out of your car. Um, we can't emphasize enough how the follow through is important at home. We will see an hour a, in a week, but what you do the other 23 hours of the day, seven days a week is really what it comes down to as far as your success with physical therapy. I really think we look at each person that comes in um, as an individual and with their specific needs and concerns in mind and speaking with them, gaining their history or why they're here um, and really listening to them to 
help them buy into therapy and that they have to be the active participant to accomplish the goals that we want. So I, I think that we do a very nice job on really working one-on-one, -on -one. again, that individual time, patient to therapist, um, but really inviting them in to add ideas to therapy or ask those questions or to gain the things that they want to really work on. It's not just this is what we do to treat this, but um, gaining that functional approach and working with them because if it's someone who they really like to garden, well we want them to be able to get back to gardening. Or someone who is golfing, we want them to be able to get back to golfing. A lot of high fives, a lot of trust is built. I mean patients tell you a lot because um, we're a go-to person, a confidant, and we have the time to hear it and kind of problem solve through it to get a solution. Um, and a lot of us, we don't let it go till we find that solution for you.